Microsoft launched Windows 11 new update build is 25188 in the dev channel and don't skip the video because I have something interesting for you in this video. I already installed this update at the bottom right side you can see here build is 25188. Okay so let's see what is new in this and what are the major bug fixes and what are the some bug also included in this build and you should know about it right. First feature they have added touch keyboard setting like just go into settings and go into time and language just click on typing and here you can see touch keyboard. So in touch keyboard you can see here show the touch keyboard when there is no keyboard attached. So message is also indicating itself like there is no keyboard connected with your device so touch keyboard will show up. So this is a new setting they have added in touch keyboard. So next improvement related to your windows terminal like windows terminal is now default terminal in your windows 11 that means all command line applications or command is by default going to open in this windows terminal. So basically you have option to set it default go into settings go into privacy and security and here you will see for developers and now here you will see terminal options so here currently it is selected like let windows decide you can choose here windows terminal so this is how you can make it default updated the wi-fi and vpn properties pages in settings to now include a link to advanced properties for the network they also fixed this taskbar problem like uh, fixed an issue related to taskbar overflow which was impacting file explorer reliability okay so there is the issue like uh, fixed an issue that was causing a start menu in recommendation only showing one column instead of uh, multiple and made a fixed of narrator mistakenly reading out to search box two times that is also fixed and these are little little issues you are not facing this issue because you are not using that feature so that's why these issues maybe you are not getting but they are still exist in your system so if you are in deep channel or beta channel you should update your windows whenever they release any update for that bunch of fixes related to file explorer i don't know why this file explorer crashing a lot but i did not face any single problem related to crashing this file explorer exe file but in every update i see like they are fixing too many issues related to file explorer crashing right if you are facing any kind of crashing related to your file explorer you should update right now and they also fix some setting issues task manager many more issues are fixed and there is still known issues like uh, some games that use anti-cheat may crash or cause your pc to bug check they also have issue like we are looking into report that audio stop working for some insider after upgrading to the last flight that means in previous build if you have any audio issue still it is not fixed and there is one more issue related to like enabling dotnet framework 3.2 from windows feature dialog will not work anymore if you are using application which is using dotnet 3.5 framework then do not install this update because that application will not work and there is an issue related to notification badge number may appear misleading on your taskbar so these little little issues still exist in this update so like we are beginning to test microsoft store ads in search result so basically now from here you can see some ads on your microsoft Microsoft store whenever you're searching in the starting of the video I told you like I have something interesting for you so basically in previous world Microsoft is trying to improve its taskbar loading more faster whenever you restart your file explorer how fast this taskbar just load that will be the next video I'm going to show you how you can make it more faster right so this is the tip I'm going to give in the dedicated video so that will be helpful for others as well so okay guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video so just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video